Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if there's one thing I don't like in life, it's UV unwrapping. Now this is a polarizing subject. Some people find UV unwrapping a very zen process. Me, I kind of wish it was one of those things that the tool just took care of for me. And I did a tweet about that a couple weeks ago, and there was one recommendation that came in over and over and over again, which was Rhizome UV. I'm going to show you that in action in just a second, but first, a quick explanation of what the hell UV wrapping is. Well, you've got a 3D object, and you want to paint a 2D surface on it. Think about it like wallpapering, where you put a 2D onto a 3D surface, but the thing here is, you're not doing it in that direction. You're actually doing it in reverse. What you're doing is you're taking this 3D object, such as this default cube here, and telling your program how to make it flat. So this is doing something called a UV wrap. So a UV unwrap, technically. So here's my UV editor. Here is my object. And switch over to edit mode. Uh, this got cube projection by default, which looks like this. I actually am going to do something a little bit different. So let's start it off with a viewport projection. So you see here, the mapping is exactly what you see on screen. And now I'm going to show you how you would UV unwrap the simplest object you can possibly do, which is a cube. We're going to make a dice here. Uh, so boom. Boom. So think of this, I'm taking a pair of virtual scissors and I'm making cuts. And I'm going to do this wrong first, just to illustrate a point. So here we go. We got, so imagine you took scissors, you went and then you went and you cut it up. Well, how would this object look? Well, what I'm going to do, control E, mark seam, uh, select, uh, oops, hit the wrong key, A, unwrap everything like so. And there you see the result. That, uh, that's not ideal. What actually I needed to do is come back in here and I need to mark this edge as well. Again, to tell it how to cut this completely flat, what you do is take a scissors and go around this edge, around this edge here, and then one more here so that it's not a loop still. So we're gonna take that edge as well. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna mark that seam, select everything, and boom. So there was UV unwrapping 101. And that's as simple as it gets, and I still hate doing it. So once you've got this guy in here, you want to go ahead and you put your 2D texture onto your 3D surface. Uh, so here is our object, like so, uh, here. I am in the shader editor now for our object, like so. And now we just need a texture. So just gonna go ahead, add texture, image texture, drop that in, we'll open it up. Uh, there was one on my desktop called Dice, I randomly grabbed off the internet. We'll drop that into this pin over here, like so. So here is our object. There is the dice, so here is your UV map. So this is a flat 2D to 3D mapping. And here is your image. So what we're gonna do is just move this over so it somewhat aligns like so. Scale it up. Uh, I'm off by a bit, but you get an idea. So then, well, if you go ahead and check this guy out in 3D view, boom, you just created and mapped an object onto, uh, so you mapped the surface using a UV map, so you've got the texture now showing on your 3D object. That was the most basic UV unwrapping you've ever seen in your life. Now let's say we were talking about an object that was a little bit more complicated. So let's go ahead, new scene, don't save, default cube, sacrificed, I had to do at least one in this video, and now we're gonna go ahead and import in a more complex object, which is available, uh, I got this off Sketchfab, I'll show you where later on, so here, Boom, more complex object, like so. And again, let's bring over our UV editor, like so. So this is actually a compound object. It's made up of a bunch of pieces. So you'll see like a hood, a shape, and so on. But I'm gonna treat it as one individual here. Uh, and then boom, select it, switch over to edit mode. And then what we'll do is we'll look at the uh, UVs for this guy. So what you can do in Blender, um, this is a nice time saver. You can actually go ahead and you can do a smart UV project and it will do its best to basically take the objects you have selected and flatten them. So then I could take my textures, put them in over this object, and we are good to go. Now, the thing is, this isn't amazing. There's plugins available, by the way, for Blender that do a better job of it. There are other options out there, but again, what we we're talking about today is Rhizom UV. Rhizom UV does the same sort of thing, and it's as close to a magical UV making tool that I've ever seen. There's two tools out there that do this really, really well, uh, Rhizom UV and 3D Coat. If you've got other recommendations, let me know them down below. But let's say we've got the same object, exact same object loaded in, and I want to create flat UVs that I can apply a texture to this guy, have nice seams going on. What do I do? I come in here, I go to this guy right here, or I go up to the menu, unwrap, unfold, and watch the results. Boom. This is about as good as I could ever create myself. And then we've got other tools here. So if I got like this seam right here and this guy right here need to hinge each other, you can do a hinge and set up how it's gonna, how those relationships are going to work. Uh, so then you can have it come down here. So I could go over here, I can do a checkerboard so we can see how smooth things are uh, actually being applied onto it. But the big thing here is definitely this tool 
just made it amazingly easy to work with. And then on top of that, so let's guys, we got this object right here. So I'm gonna go ahead, actually we'll pick the, um, the hood of the car right here, right there. Uh, we can also do things like how it's laid out. So we've got the packing, we've got various different options for how things are gonna pack in there. So if I wanted to take up this whole screen here, so if I had like a single texture I wanted to fit it in, I could squareify it and it will just boom, upscale it like so. But at the same time, I can actually go back to um, how we did. So pack and translate and it will put it more or less back to where it was. The coolest thing actually is you can take everything and you can actually go back to unwrap and you can unflatten and you end up back where you started. Oh, do I have to do? Okay, so let's select everything, unwrap, unflatten, and then boom, you are back to normal. And then once again, you wanna just have the magical press a button and boom, it fixes the UVs for you. Boom, unfold and done. It's, it's a thing of, ma it's, it's honestly the most magical UV packing tool I've seen. Obviously you have a number of other tools here for dealing with, um, you know, applying, straightening, stretching, cleaning. Uh, we also have uh, an optimization tool right here. You could do your traditional pinning of objects, uh, you cutting of your seams, marking of seams. Uh, you work in uh, over here. So again, we're in like object mode, but again, you could do polygons, double click to select um, like a, an edge loop like so, you work with edges or vertices and so on. And then other than that, there's just a ton of tools in here for doing the UV wrapping for you. Again, I'm not the best person to illustrate this to you because I absolutely suck at this task. But what I can do is I can come into it, I can load an object in and I can say, okay, unfold. I, I have something selected, so obviously it's not gonna work out that way, but uh, it, that's it. That's all you need to do on an object, and then boom, it makes very usable, very good starting point UV maps for you, and then you just basically export it out to whatever tool you wish. So you could uh, you know, save that out, move it out, um, create a new version of it, or you could just export out the UVs. Uh, details are available there, so you can set the maps to how to set it out. You can have it bring it out as an object file and so on. Um, it's again, a tool that fits into your pipeline very specifically to do one task and one task only, and that is UV unwrapping. But like you saw, there is basically the equivalent of a magical, just make it work button. And that's probably where I'd stop using it, to be honest. So what we're talking about today, again, is Rhizome UV. You're gonna find there's two versions of this. There's UV uh, for virtual spaces and real spaces. Real spaces is more for like, uh, again, real world engineering. So if you're using a program like IGIS or something to that effect, Katia, you're making an object in the real world. That's what this is for. If you're on a game development channel for like mine, you're probably here for the virtual spaces version of it. Uh, again, it does incident unwraps. I'm really impressed by how good it does. It does a very good job with tight packing. Uh, it does seams for you. Got algorithms for handling those seams. That's where it starts to get tricky. You know, when you've got, you got to hide those seams where you have um, the cuts have been made and you don't want it shown. Tool that does it for you and it supports UDIMs and multi channels. Uh, you've got support for uh, brushes for fine tuning your UV maps. Uh, super sharp optimizations and so on. So if you wanna go ahead, uh, again, this is commercial software, but it's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. There is a demo, a 30-day demo available for you to go ahead and check out. That's what I'm using today to do so. Uh, and now we get into kind of the downside of this program. It is commercial software. So uh, if you're looking to buy it for a pro version of it, I mean, here's here's the part where I know some people are gonna be very unhappy. Uh, it is, uh, it's license-based. Uh, so it's a subscription-based thing. Uh, it's 35 bucks a month for pro versions. If you are an indie, however, you can get it for uh, $15 a month. But this is by rent to own which is better than su just subscription in that uh, your down payment plan of $15 a month or 15 euro a month, uh, seven-day grace period between each payment. And then after 12 months, you will have a perpetual license. Uh, whereas uh, the floating license doesn't have that. So it looks like it's only for the indie version that you actually have uh, the option to get of your perpetual license, which again, if you're in that indie space, which means you, you make less than $100,000 a year, you can get that perpetual license. Otherwise you need to do the pro, which is a paid version, like basically a subscription software. And I know a lot of people absolutely despise the idea of subscription software, but yeah, this one is impressive. Also, they just released version uh, 2024. Uh, it was either the end of last week or early this week. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead and check it out, it is available. It's at uh, Rhizom, R izom-lab.com. Again, available for uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. There is that demo available. So you can basically grab it for, uh, I think it was a month, uh, but 
there is a, a demo version available of it for all three major platforms. And again, there was a brand new version of it just released. Uh, and the model I used, by the way, is the Porsche Macan Caban uh, from and him on uh, Sketchfab. If you want to go ahead and try it or the same thing. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Rhizom UV. Uh, again, it's the closest thing I've seen to just do my damn job for me software out there. If you have other recommendations for auto UV unwrapping, do let me know. Also, let me know which side of the face are you, or fence are you on. Do you like the process of UV unwrapping or do you find it tedious? Because I'm definitely in the tedious camp. It's a skill for sure. It is a skill. It's just not one that I'm particularly good. I just don't visualize in making a 3D object 2D, like where to make my cuts, how to best make my cuts. But again, I know some people find it totally zen and love in doing this stuff. Let me know which one you are. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.